Well, I think we all saw this coming, Pigments 1. So, uh, yeah, welcome to 5-Minute Presets. <laughs> we are back home in Pigments. So, let's start the... Uh, well, let's actually make a new preset here first and then start. So, every se second counts here, guys. Okay, so, let's start the clock here. And, you know what? I'm going to go to a sawway for now. And maybe start with a synchronizer and do something just kind of randomized, right? Something just kind of weird. So, let's go to Polyrhythm. Let's turn this on. And basically, we have these eight steps. Let's go to a cool, I guess, scale. Let's go to Phrygium. Let's go to Auto Regen, maybe one over eight or something like that. And let's kind of just go do some regen here. Keep this random all the way to the top here, so it actually works here. Regen a couple times, and you'll notice it keeps changing every single time. Maybe we can just do one bar. So we're gonna have the same thing twice. Maybe that may might be kind of cool here. Let's turn this down just a bit here. And you notice how these values keep going while this repeats, so we can always get something kind of weird here. So let's do some random octaves real quick. One, 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 maybe two here, maybe one over here. Trig probability, let's take some of these out. Some slide here, if there's this one's going off, let's maybe slide, do some slides, some random. And the gate length over here, since this one's off, that thing that's what I was looking for at first. Let's do a little bit longer. Okay, that's cool. Let's increase our tempo, though, because this is kind of slow. It's got like 136. You know, maybe let's do every half bar, just so, just so it's even more random, I suppose. Okay, let's go back to synth, and let's go from wavetable to analog here. Let's bring two saw waves in. The next one's going to be a square. I already kind of know this is going to be down an octave. It's down an octave is kind of cool sound. A little unison. Detune it a little bit here, and of course, you guessed it, the MS-20. Freaking awesome builder. Let's do our cutoff here, modulation while we can, or our macros. And a res almost said resolution resonance. Good lord, has it been that long? Okay, res, res. Oh my god. Okay, two two thirty three. Let's, let's let's keep this train moving. Okay, we need to modulate that with an envelope here just a little bit. Okay, that's cool here. Let's go to the second engine here. Let's do maybe a wavetable engine and maybe make this a uh, SAR square or something like that. And what I like to do the sub oscillate also on the bottom here output direct out let's turn this down let's get mod or mod three m3 good lord put that up all the way and then put that as sub and we have a minute 45 to do some cool effects here maybe drop our sustain just a bit might not even get there so let's go to our effects here and for the first one here what i like to do is actually change this to an eq take some of that nastiness out and push something like this here. You'll see why in a minute. Let's remove this and change this with a distortion. I like the default like that. And then the, not a bit crusher, another distortion. But change this to germanium or are you? Here we are. And if you EQ before you go into distortion, you can kind of pick what gets more distorted. Maybe a little bit more of that. Let's add these while we're here. Boom. Boom, this is gonna be a 50, I already know that. And then that's fine here, 55, a little bit more, that's cool. Let's turn this up, double click that FX here. So now we have a couple left to go. I think, let's say maybe we could do... We need some delay for sure. So some delay here, let's maybe go an eighth note here. Let's increase the feedback, high pass, low pass. Stereo spread, you gotta spread it. <laughs> maybe a little bit of release here. And maybe some reverb, because we, we like reverb. reverb. Reverb is good. Where the hell are you? Jesus Christ, there you are. 
It's funny because I've used the synth so much and I still lose the spots of these effects because of God. Oh God, put this here and put this here. Drag down, okay. I, I stole a second, okay, you know what? I had to make sure the macros are fine. Hopefully, oh my God, that's gonna be intense. Holy shit, 50. Okay, let's bring that down. Just, that's the last one, that's the last one. This is, this is how it is, okay? This is going to be interesting, so here we go. I always somehow end up making these like 303 kind of things, doing things like that. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting one, and it's kind of cool because if we go over here in the sequencer, whatever key or whatever mode that your song is going to be playing in, you can have the same patch going, and you can just click the scale and choose something different. So if you're one of those guys that's like Lydian or Die, then hey, you know what? Click Lydian, and it's for you. That would be totally cool. Yeah, pretty awesome. So it's very randomized, so if you kind of don't like the too much randomness and there's a really cool... I guess, sequence that kind of comes up with this. Just keep in mind, you want to take the the uh, randomize auto regen off and then apply whatever you have here that you like. And then you can kind of keep that same pattern and Bob's your uncle. Okay, so what do we call this? What's this going to be? The random, oh, the random, random, random. Maybe just random, random, I guess. Okay, sequence random, random. There it is. If you want to get random, random, there's a link in the video description below, and it can be yours. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.